It's four o'clock in the morning off the eastern entrance to the Raja Sherberg, and a flurry of RC boats are battling strong currents and fluky winds. Leading the Figaro 3 fleet is the Irish RL Sailor. We have a joke in the Figaro's um, that we never reef, but we had a reef in the main and a reef in the jib for the first time ever, so. <laughs> We had a really good leg out of the Solent and uh, we knew we came out of the Solent for the Figaro um, but we didn't really know after that. So. Uh, no, it's been a pretty pretty tough race. It's had a lot, a lot of ups and downs and then uh, a shut down yesterday, lower this evening around Guernsey and then yeah. a slow finish as well. So yeah. Two big shut downs in the last few days. It's made it pretty challenging. We we're pretty worried that people behind would catch up on us but um, we managed to pull out. A happy Kenneth Rumble and Pamela Lee, who finished over five hours ahead of their nearest rival. In the same pack of RC boats was the JPK 1030 Leon, who had played second fiddle to swell until the last 60 miles. The, all the race was hard uh, because uh, a lot of uh, tactical decision and uh, a lot of wind also. So uh, very difficult and uh, at the end a uh, uh, lot of uh, uh, different options and uh, we don't take the good one so uh, we have a little bit afraid <laughs> for the finish but uh, it's a good uh, happening. I think uh, if we pass uh, one hour later uh, we stay a lot of time uh, here so just for us. <laughs> well done, congratulations. Thank you. Leon crossed the line just 17 minutes behind Henry Bromby and gold medalist Shirley Robertson aboard Swell, sealing Leon's win in both IRC3 and in the two-hand. Third time for Alexis who was on. We didn't have the best start so in a race that's going to last five days. We were over the line, a bit eager to get going, but we soon played catch-up and the first day was... I'm trying to forget it. <laughs> It was pretty hard going, but it was a phenomenal race with, I mean, all kinds of, all kinds of weather and decisions and sailing with Henry, amazing, what a talent. Sailing all season, I don't think we saw more than 20 knots, so straight out into 30, 35 knots was, um, it was quite, blew away the cobwebs, but we were really quick actually in those conditions, but we went slightly the wrong way, so at Portland we were kind of five miles behind Alexi on Leon. Um, which kind of put us on the back foot, but you know we sailed so well to get that back in a, in a race course that kind of was getting more favourable for the leaders. So um, yeah, really proud of how we sailed. Um, you know we, we've got a few little uh, toys and stuff we put on the boat to try and make us go faster. And I think we used all of our box of tricks, didn't we? So it was good. We, we were fast at times, and um, yeah, it was really enjoyable. It was a really enjoyable race. Well, I've done the fast note twice before and uh, it didn't really compare to this. This is a whole different way of doing it. I mean, intense, hard, you know, we're pretty tired. Um, there's not a lot of sleep and this little boat, you know, it's so, it's so let up in those conditions as well. It, it, it was full on and there was moments where we were, we were just smiling, weren't we? Today, that massive long run down here was, was the best. It was such good fun and, um, yes, an intense five days. Despite leading in both IRC3 and two-handed for much of the past five days, Swell took a well-deserved second. Just five hours later, leading the IRC4 fleet was an 18-year-old X332 TradingAdvices.com of breast sailor Alan Grillinoff. They take a win over some much newer high-tech craft. Yes, it was very rough, for, especially for us because we have a small boat. 10 meters, one of the smallest of the, of the Rolex Fastnet Street, so it was very hard for us. Yes. When we arrived to the Fastnet, we were only, I think, 11th in the class, so uh, we have a change of the wind during, uh, just when we arrived to the Fastnet Rock. Before our arriving to the Fastnet Rock, we had a change of the wind, so we, we lost a little arriving to the Fastnet. But after the Fastnet, for us, it was a real great pleasure. Between the Fastnet and Scilly Island, uh, on, with the Spinnaker, the, the boat was very, very, very fast. For, for this, the, the race was uh, really uh, a very interesting race. 
we had a great pleasure during this race. Yes, really, with uh, good competitors. And, uh, but this year we are first in IRC4, so it's a real success for us. Yes, good, very good, very happy.